Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most important aspects of a weight loss journey, planning what to eat. You can exercise all you want, but if your nutrition isn't on point, the results will be slow to come. So today, I'm breaking down exactly how to plan your meals, stay on track, and make eating for weight loss super simple and sustainable. Let's get started. First things first, before we dive into meal planning, let's talk about what weight loss really comes down to, calories in versus calories out. This is a basic principle of weight loss. In simple terms, you need to consume fewer calories than your body burns in a day. But it's not just about cutting calories. Quality matters too. Focusing on nutrient-dense foods is key. If you're eating high-protein, low-carb foods like lean meats, veggies, and healthy fats, not only will you be fueling your body properly, but you'll also feel full and energized longer. So, meal planning for weight loss isn't about starving yourself. It's about choosing the right foods that nourish your body and keep you satisfied. Set small, achievable goals. For example, aiming for a 1-2 to two pound weight loss per week is a realistic and sustainable target. That way, you're not overwhelming yourself. Once you have your goal in mind, it's easier to break down what you need to do in terms of food planning. Now comes the fun part, choosing your food. I know the options can feel overwhelming at first, but once you know the basics, it's all about picking foods that align with your weight loss goals. Let's break it down into three categories, protein, carbs, and fats. For protein, you want to focus on lean options like chicken breast, turkey, fish, tofu, and eggs. Protein helps build and repair muscle and keeps you full longer, which is key for weight loss. For carbs, aim for whole grains like quinoa, brown rice, and oats. These are high in fiber so they won't spike your blood sugar. And for fats, choose healthy options like avocado, olive oil, nuts, and seeds. Once you've got your proteins, carbs, and fats sorted, you're already ahead of the game. These foods will give you all the energy you need while keeping your meals balanced and nutritious. Now let's dive into the actual meal planning. This is where the magic happens. When it comes to planning your meals, the goal is to prep in advance so you don't fall into the trap of unhealthy choices when hunger strikes. Start by setting aside some time each week to plan your meals. I personally do this on Sundays, but you can pick a day that works for you. Write out your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for the week. Make sure each meal includes protein, a healthy fat, and a fiber-rich carb. For example, for breakfast, I love making an omelet with spinach and avocado. For lunch, I'll have a chicken salad with a variety of veggies. And for dinner, grilled salmon with roasted vegetables is always a win. By keeping meals simple, you're more likely to stick to your plan. I also make sure to batch cook some ingredients, like grilled chicken, roasted veggies, and quinoa, so I've got them ready to go. This way, when it's time to eat, I don't have to spend 30 minutes cooking from scratch. It's all about making things easier and more convenient for yourself. Ah, uh, another important aspect of meal planning for weight loss is portion control. Even if you're eating healthy foods, if you're eating too much, it can still hinder your progress. One way to avoid overeating is by using portion control containers or simply measuring out your food. Each meal should consist of about three, four ounces of protein, one half to one cup of carbs, and a handful of veggies. It may seem small at first, but trust me, it's plenty. Plus, when you eat balanced meals like this, you'll feel full without the bloating that comes from overeating. Don't forget about snacks. Healthy snacks can help curb your cravings between meals and keep your energy levels steady throughout the day. Think high protein and high fiber options like Greek yogurt with berries, a handful of almonds, or even a hard boiled egg. I love to prepare snacks in advance too. That way when I'm feeling hungry, I can just grab a snack and go without having to think too much about it. Planning your snacks is key for staying on track and avoiding those midday slip ups. All right, so you've got your meals and snacks planned. The next step is consistency. This is where most people slip up. You can have the best plan in the world, but if you don't stick with it, it's not going to work. So I recommend creating a meal prep routine, setting reminders, or even joining a weight loss group for support. Consistency doesn't mean being perfect all the time. Life happens. You might miss a meal or eat something you didn't plan for. That's okay. The key is to stay on track most of the time and keep coming back to your plan. And finally, remember to listen to your body. If you're hungry, eat. If you're full, stop. Meal planning is great, but you should never ignore your hunger cues. Your body knows what it needs, so trust it. Weight loss is a journey, not a race. Meal planning is about finding balance, being prepared, and fueling your body in a way that works for you. So to recap, 
Meal planning for weight loss is all about choosing the right foods, setting realistic goals, prepping in advance, controlling portions, and staying consistent. It's not about being perfect, but about making healthier choices consistently. Remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. I'm sharing five hilarious but effective weight loss tips that might just make you laugh and lose some weight at the same time. So grab your water bottle and let's get started. Tip one, the power of the five minute dance party. Break up your day with a five minute dance party. Seriously, you don't need a dance floor or a DJ, just your favorite song and a good attitude. This is the best cardio you'll ever get without even realizing you're working out. Plus, it's the easiest way to burn some calories and avoid the dreaded, I don't feel like exercising today moment. Trust me, just shake it out for a few minutes and you'll feel like a fitness guru. Bonus. If you can't remember the last time you danced, I'm sorry, but we've got some serious fun catching up to do. Tip two, the vegetables are your BFF. Make vegetables your new best friend. Not in a weird way like, oh, you're going to hang out at my house for hours, but in a, you're going to fill me up and save my waistline kind of way. We're talking about low calorie, high fiber foods that'll keep you full and make your stomach say, thank you. This is the best party I've ever been to. When it comes to veggies, I want you to remember one thing, eat like a rabbit, but a super healthy, high functioning rabbit who fits in their favorite genes. Tip three, drink water like you're a camel. Drink water like you're a camel. I know it sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. Water helps with digestion, boosts metabolism, and keeps you hydrated so you can tackle the day like a pro. And no, coffee doesn't count as water, unless you're drinking your coffee with a side of hydration, which let's be honest, none of us are doing. Pro tip, if you're struggling to remember to drink enough water, just pretend your body is a plant. If you don't water it, it's going to get a little wilty, and nobody wants that. Tip four, get off the couch, but Netflix, please. Stop binge watching and binge eating. Okay, who am I kidding? I love Netflix as much as the next person. But if you're sitting on the couch for hours, it's easy to munch on snacks mindlessly. So here's what you do. Pause the show for a minute, get up, stretch, do a couple of squats, then come back to your episode. Small breaks keep your metabolism up and help you feel less like a couch potato. It's all about balance. Plus, you'll burn calories while you're still watching your favorite show. It's the best of both worlds. Tip five, portion control, but make it fashion. Portion control. Now I know, we all love a good plate of pasta, but listen, you don't need a mountain of food to feel satisfied. Instead of serving yourself an entire plate, try using smaller plates. Your brain will think you're getting more, and your waistline will thank you later. Remember, eating is a lifestyle, not a sprint, so savor every bite like it's your last one. But also realize you'll have more tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that. Portion control is forever. Bonus tip, laugh your way to weight loss. And here's a bonus tip, laugh. It's scientifically proven that laughing burns calories and relieves stress, which can help with weight loss in the long run. So watch a funny YouTube video, call up your funniest friend and giggle it out. Just don't laugh too hard at your food. Or you might choke on that cauliflower rice. Trust me, I've been there. So there you have it. Five hilarious weight loss tips that are actually effective. Remember, weight loss doesn't have to be all about deprivation and misery. Make it fun, make it doable, and make it something you actually enjoy. Laugh, move, eat well, and before you know it, you'll be feeling healthier and more energized than ever. If you enjoyed these tips, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can keep up with all my other fun weight loss hacks. Drop a comment below and tell me your funniest fitness story. Let's share some laughs together. See you next time, and remember, weight loss is way more fun when you smile through it.